massive three points, isn't it, on the road? I mean, how different has it been on the road as well? Yeah, it's a huge three points for us. Obviously, uh, we had a blip on Friday uh, home to York and we knew that today we had to bounce back. And to come here and put on a performance like we did with, with the ball, dominating, creating chances and keeping the clean sheet, yeah, it's massive credit to the boys in there and we stuck by it and, and yeah, it's a massive three points for us. I mean, there was plenty of possession from the side and as usually is with a, a Paul Cook team as well, but there wasn't any frustration at half-time? Do you think the, the goal is going to come? No, not at all. They were... Um, the gaffer was happy at half time. We, we we dominated the game the first half. We had a, a lot of chances, a lot of shots, um, and it just felt like we were just waiting for one to, to go in the back of the net. The keeper pulled off a few good saves in the first half. So yeah, we just touched on a little few uh, a few things at half time and came out there in second half. And, and it's a great header from Mandy to, to win us the game. A rare header from Liam Mandeville as well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, obviously he, um, with Shex getting injured at half time, he he was playing a few positions. He ended up playing right back and put on a great performance. That's Liam for you. He can play anywhere for you. He'll put 100% in. And uh, yeah, it's a great edit at the back post. Yeah, no, but obviously the manager brought on Jez Kegelum to play it right back at the start. How, how do you think he did? Yeah, he done all right as well. Obviously, Jez is a young lad and he's still learning the game. Um, to come on as a right back, it's, it's not like that for him, but he's a winger. But no, I, thought, I honestly thought he'd done all right. He started well and then obviously he wanted to go a little bit more experienced later on in the game. So Mandy went there and Jez went, went to a usual, usual position on the left. And yeah, I thought he'd done really well when he came on. For a young lad, he's, he's got bags of talent. He can go a lot higher, just needs to keep his head down and, and concentrate on, on playing football. It's only one loss in, in nine now, it's coincided with you coming back into the side. I mean, is that is that a coincidence? Are you looking a bit more solid? Uh, no, not really. Obviously, with me I'm playing as, as the left-back, it's a little bit more solid in terms of me, Grimes, Ian Ash as a back three at times. Um, but no, I just think as a as a group of players, we we've got great great characters in there. To obviously we went on a bad run and to come back and and just lose one game in nine games, um, it's been massive credit to the lads. Um, and obviously today today is a massive clean sheet for us as well. The playoffs are virtually confirmed. I think it's just goal difference just separating it now. It'll be the third year on the trot as well. Is it about making that next step up into the into the football league? Yeah, it's just um, obviously there's only one thing on his mind as as players and as the club and staff. Um, is to get promoted back to the Football League. Um, obviously, we've still got three, uh, four massive games left. We want to try and finish third. Um, and I believe if we would go and win all them four games, we will finish third. So if we uh, concentrate on ourselves instead of any, uh, nobody else, and I'm sure we, we can do it. What's the Gaffer's message to you in particular? Is it playing at left back? Are you allowed a bit of a license to roam up, up and down the, with, a, with Ryan Colcliffe in front of you, or, or is it more <coughs> concentrating on your defending? Um, it more, I think it's more defend, uh, more depends on who, who we're against. Mm -hmm. Obviously, today we've played against uh, one striker, so. Ash and Grimes, he can dominate the striker, but if there's two up there, he wants me to maybe stay at home a bit more, mm -hmm. call it the stay at home left back. But today I had the license to, to bomb on and, and help Ryan at, at times. Um, obviously, Ryan's really good at the 1v1 attacking side, so if he does go 1v1, I like to just back it up and not, not get involved. But sometimes when he gets doubled up, it's time for me to, to get involved and, and try and get crosses into the box and, and hopefully participate in that way. A couple of home games now. Um, home form's not been great this uh, turn of the year. Eastley as well as side who are going for it. It's about getting the side and the, the crowd right back up there to get that three points. Yeah, it's about staying patient, to be honest. You know, when, when we play at home, teams come in and, and sit mm. in and, it, and it's really hard, obviously. We come away from home, it's a little bit different because they, they have to come out and, and have a little bit of a go at us. So that's where we can pick, pick teams off. But it's about being patient. The gaffer and, and Kieran and Webby and Gary, they're all on about being patient at home, moving the ball quick and, and dominating the ball. And then it will open up at times. And that's just what happened today. We, we dominated the ball throughout the, throughout the first half and the second half we got the rewards.